a secret cave. Hey, Christopher Walken, what do you think of that cave? I think the cave is so secret, nobody knows about it. It's hidden behind the thing in the wall with the guy, the gun, the girl, the partner. It's true. Chris has so much knowledge. You know what? I don't think we... Did we leave it in here? Did we leave our... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our Omega Sword. Our pretty good pick. Our axe. And those we need. We should have brought those. But we will do something with those later. I got some chicken. I've got some torches. I don't think I need anything else. Because I think we're just going to get the thing started. And... <laughs> let's start. Let's actually start down here. In our room. At our anvil. On top of our anvil. And I'll, I'll face that. I just need, this is my title card, people. This is what I do for a title card. Actually, you know what? I don't do that for a title card. Because I... I'll just come in later. I can, just, I can make it. What, I can make it whatever I want. I can. This is how it works. But we can totally start here. Okay. <clears throat> Places. Here we go. So again, this I have a YouTube channel. So this goes on my YouTube channel. I'm just trying to fiddle with Twitch to see if I can kind of produce the show while I'm making the show live, so that it saves me editing time and rendering time, and I can just upload a video. So after we're done here, I would literally just go and upload this. And once it's uploading, I'll come back and I can just play around in here live stream. But it gives me another episode without doing all the editing and stuff. So we will see. Okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. My name is Jackson Dynamite. You're in Uber Earth. It's the place... Of all Ubers. Greetings. Hope you're well. I am well. Biggest question we always ask our friends is, are you being a person to do? Are you getting things done in your life to better your life and the lives of the people around you? It's the biggest thing you can do. You are in... Go! Oh, that door gets me every time. You're in complete control of the things around you. Even if you are in prison, you can still control your mind. You are in control of you. The things you think, the things you say... The things you do. So are you being a person to do? Are you getting things done to make your life a better place? I hope you are. I try every day myself to do that. If you are, throw some things in the comments. Things that you're doing to better your life. Reading new books. Taking up uh, a knitting class. <laughs> anything at all to be a better person. Even, it's being, even if it's being patient with people you don't really get along with. You know who I'm talking to. Being patient with those people help yourself be a better person so we're going to go on our little our lily pad of truth over here our should i call it a stoic pad i don't know what i'm going to call it let's go to this one over here check out for bad guys i think we're good i'm going to read you this stoic comment and then with this we're going to go into the nether go through our tunnel and then we're going to show up at the other side and we're going to fiddle around with our spawner and looking at the time we are doing good and i want to make sure that around yep Okay, so this one's called the startup of you. Okay, but boom. Oh no, yeah, like I said, can't 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 have a conversation with you with a sword in my hand. So what does Socrates say? Just as one person delights in imp improving his farm and another his force, so I delight in attending to my own improvement day by day. How fitting! Be a person to do right. The rage these days is to start your own company, to be an entrepreneur. There's no question building a business from scratch can be an immediate, rewarding pursuit. It's why people put their whole lives into doing it, working countless hours and taking countless, ri countless risks. But shouldn't we, just, uh, shouldn't we be just as invested in building ourselves as we would to a company? Like a startup, we begin with just an idea or incubated, put out into the world where we develop slowly and then over time, we accumulate partners, employees, customers, investors, and wealth. It is really so strange to treat your own life as seriously as you might treat an idea of this business. Is that a strange thing? Which one really is the matter of life and death? Oh, that brings up 
so many times. But isn't that true? We spend our entire lives, like we'll go after a business. Are we, are we on our quest? We're on our quest. Okay. We'll go after like starting a new business or whatever. Some, some of these endeavors with everything we've got, but we've never even tried to make ourselves a better person. Right? And at the end of all of it, that's all that's going to matter. People are going to forget you and your business, but people will remember who, well, they'll forget your, they'll forget your business, but people will remember you and the things that you did, um, your family, your friends. And that's at the end of the end of your life is going to be more important than any business you run. It's going to be, oh yeah, I have to get away from this. Look at that. I planted some trees in the nether. Yep. I'm a dork. Look at that. I've never done that, actually. I've been playing this game since 13, and I've never planted trees in the nether. I think it looks funny. But yeah, so be a person to do, right? And uh, I think it's funny how they're saying that people go after these businesses, but they never, ever, ever stop to work on themselves and make themselves better. Hello there. So this is our tunnel we've been working on. If you haven't seen it, we've got some episodes. I think there's an episode on YouTube, and there's something in the live stream feed but you can definitely check that out where we started building this. Of course, it's not done because we need a heck of a lot of quartz. Sorry, it always makes me have a little seizure when I realize how much quartz we're gonna need. But yeah, and then down here, I might not even do the same design. I might just make it simple shtimple and I might just, oh yeah, I got you deep inside of me. Yeah, oh my God, Aisha. Did you guys hear that? I heard that. But yeah, we want to make that tunnel come all the way down here. What is going on? All right. And this is genius. We get to the other side of this. You're going to love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful, right? A big pillar. <laughs> that is our nether portal. So, hey, Zomb. Eventually, we're going to probably have to build something or maybe connect it or... If any of you, any of you know how to connect nether portals, like if I want that portal to be inside this little cave over here, how do you sync it? I'm sure there's a video. Link me to it. You know, contact me, Facebook me. Um, that'll be impossible. Uh, you know what? Go on the Twitter sphere and send me a tweeter and tell me how to do it. Because I really want to know. All right, there's a staircase around here somewhere. There it is. So we're going to go down here. All right, so I think I think I would want to figure this out. I think I might need some... I might get some wood because I'm going to probably fiddle enough that I'm going to want a crafting table and some stuff. So let me get the... Let me get that done. Yeah, so what do you guys think of that? You know, throw stuff in the comments because after the video, I will be, once I've done this series this uh show i'm gonna be in the chat and i'll uh i'd love to chat back and forth and i'm gonna once i up get this uploading i'll we'll do a live stream and we can we can talk more about that that concept of working on yourself it's funny i um i i say this all the time i have people you know when you're when you're speaking of the idea of working on or, or how much time you invest in something that's not that important versus the amount of time you invest in something that is super important I find that people will spend a year and a half researching what phone they want to buy next. It's like, oh, I gotta get the iPhone 15. It's gonna be amazing. But then they'll spend an evening and they'll with one other person and say, I'm gonna marry this person. I'm gonna spend every day with this person for the rest of my life. And and they're my love. It's soulmates, baby. Soulmates. But the phone, you gotta research the phone. You gotta spend time reading blogs, talking to friends. Wouldn't you do the same thing? Wouldn't you do the same exact thing for the person you want to spend every day with for the rest of your life? Wouldn't you talk to friends? Hey, what do you think of Sally? Girl named Sally. What do you think of Sally? What do you think of this guy that I'm hanging out with? Do you think uh, they're a good company? Do you think they'd make a good spouse? Maybe see how, they, how virtuous they are. Are they a patient person? Do they like children if you were going to have a kid? Um, do they spend a ton of money? These things never come up. It's always like, I'm so Twitter painted. I love him so much. He's so nice. I mean, he's, he never calls and he never stops by, but he's nice. What? I'm telling a story. But he's nice. He's just nice. But have you seen the iPhone 15? It's awesome. 
That's what happens. So I think the story today from the Stoic book, you know, don't spend tons of time wasting your time, that is, on stuff that it doesn't really matter. We're crafting yourself, making yourself a better person for the people around you, for your family, for your spouse, for your girlfriend, boyfriend, for your teachers at school, for whoever is in your life. Making yourself a better person, being more polite, being more virtuous, all good things. Never going to get wasted. Never, ever going to get wasted. Never, never going to get it. Ooh, not going to get wasted. Ooh, well, so we're going to go down to this cave. We're going to see what we have. That pick needed fixing, but I didn't fix it. We're almost at 40 experience points, so. God bless the merry gentlemen that I don't get eaten by zombies. I hope I don't get destroyed by zombies down here. Is that in the game or is that in real life? Do you hear that? Okay, so where is this thing? Oh, yeah. I actually was hoping I'd find two chunks of iron. And let's see here. Going around the corner. So I don't know. Uh, I don't remember where this thing is, to be very upfront with you. I really don't. So we're going to have to look for it. And this is where if I was making a show where I could edit, I would say, I'll be right back. But we can't do that. We have to be cool, calm, collected. What's down there? There's some water down there. I don't think that that's it because this is so not torched up. What's this? Get this out of here. All right. And this is our way out. So let's do we try... This way? Oh, great. No, I think I would have torched it. Wouldn't I have? Wouldn't I have? Hmm. Let me try up here. Is this where I just came from? I don't think so. The other thing I want to talk about too today, this might help you as well. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sweet. Okay. I guess it'd be cool to know where this where this goes. It might be interesting to see um, what's above here. So let us <laughs> let us use our two cobblestone blocks. Uh, let's uh, maybe let's go up and see where this goes because this might. Do I have anything? All I've got is the. That's not going to work because that's going to take forever to get me some blocks just to get up there. Did I put blocks in these? Uh, not really. And uh, andesite. I could use andesite. That might work. Okay. Can't do that. But yeah, so the other topic, and it's always something. Listen up here. You're always, 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 always going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. It is the topic of change. <laughs> and it happened today in my life. And the thing you need to understand about change, especially if it's out of your control, is that there's nothing you ain't going to do about it. You can't do anything about it. So being a stoic, you'd understand your limitations when it comes to change, when it's out of your control. You understand that if your management team at work is changing how they do things, completely changing it, oh yeah. I'm gonna have to, let's see. Oh, I don't want to do that because if I do that, if I do that, uh, it's gonna flood out all my torches and they're gonna start spawning again. Uh, okay, so I am completely in the water. Let's see where we are here. Let's get some fresh air. And my portal is right there. And that is the place I was inside of. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to bring them up here. We might just make it a facility underground. Maybe we'll make we'll make this into kind of like a, a base. Or maybe like even a building. Like an operation facility someday. And then underneath the ground in that facility. We'll have uh, we'll make our, our place where we get all these points. Okay. Going under. So they change things right at work, right? Out of my control, 
the, what I can control is how I react to it, right? That's what you have control. Oh, I did it. Oh, no. Oh, I did it. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, it was above ground. Okay. So what you have control over is yourself, how you react to it. You could stand up from the news and get huffy and puffy. You could complain and get frustrated and get angry and yell and scream or threaten to leave or even just immediately start looking for a new job. You could do all those things. Or you could understand you can't change the flow of the river. You just can't do it. And so because you can't change the flow of the river, a stoic will know that ahead of time. And he'll say, okay, what are my options? My options are to embrace the change. You can still do those other things. You know, you can still go, I'm a little frustrated about this. And maybe on the way home, or maybe when you get home, maybe you look for a new job if, it, if it's not going to work out for you. But the big thing to understand is embrace the change. Maybe the change is good. Maybe that change, though it's changing how you're going to do things on a daily basis, maybe it'll actually have fruitful results that you weren't expecting. You don't know. But resisting it and fighting it and being angry about it are useless activities. So I've always tried to be a change advocate myself. I'm not always awesome at it, but it's always helped me when things don't go your way just to go, okay, didn't go my way. Press on. Press on with your bad self. All right, so this is our room. We just need to figure out as we, we need to figure out exactly how we are going to do this. I, um, I've done a spawners. I've done XP farms in the past where I've led them up and dropped them down. Okay. And I don't know what I would want for this guy. I don't know if I want to bring him up and drop him down. I think I don't, I want the experience. So I don't need to drop them. Well, I, it'd be nice to drop them so that way I don't have to hit them as much. Um, if that makes sense. So it might be, it might work in our advantage to maybe, I mean, we could just pull out the floor and they would just drop down to the floor. Would that work? And then in the facility down there, or we could channel them. We could try to come up with a way to channel them back to where are we over here? Yeah, because we could even make. Oh yeah, we could make a. Where's our thing? We could make like a piston device, and the piston device will collect. We'll collect them all into a little chamber. And then we'll hit a switch and that'll knock some of the hits off them so we don't have to use much of our sword strength. That could work, possibly. We just got to find... All right, so that is how I get upstairs. And then maybe we just drill them over to here. So we want to channel Zavata. Channel Zavata. Hmm. So yeah, so they would spawn and then we'd want them to get funneled and then have them go down like a track maybe. So let's see if we can do that. You know, again, when I'm, you know, you guys are going to have more input and probably better input. So what I'll do too is as we're wrapping up, when I get back in the chat, throw some ideas at me because your ideas are probably going to make this awesome. But I'm thinking if we can channel these guys to a section over here, am I even gonna get? Oh yeah, I'm getting some. I'm getting some action over here. I'm getting some people hanging out. Relax. So what's this? Is this? I just want to line it up with. Okay, where am I? Where am I? I'm getting, I'm getting lost in my own cave. What? I did a circle. Wait a minute. 
Um, so I came out here, and then maybe oh, they, and they got to get channeled this way. Is that right? Okay. So if I came out up there, I'm hearing something. I hear you. I think you can get away from me. Can we channel them this way? Is that have you ever done that before? Have you ever actually had them in here and then channeled them a different way in the tunnel? I guess so that they would flow the way the water goes, wouldn't they? And then we'd go like this. And then we would maybe do something like this. I don't I don't know, man. But yeah, we're lining this up, aren't we? I think my vision here is that when I come down those stairs, cause those those stairs will look super nice. We'll make it all make it all corporate. It's gonna look all corporate like a facility. But when you come down those corporate facility stairs, um, in here will be our room and our chamber. So those zombies will get spawned and they'll be brought over to us. It's almost as if on a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt will be nice. And then maybe here is where the water ends. And this is where they drop off. Something like this. Let's, uh, I need a door, but let's do something like that just to kind of symbolize. This is not going to be it, but put some cobblestone down here. So maybe they go Oh, man, it's so scary. What the heck is going on? Where's my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Something like that, maybe? They will come in here, and then it'll drop there, maybe, and then we'll be able to come over here, and we can open all this up at some point. So let's go back over to here and see what we got. <laughs> Getting all... It's not there, guys. It's not there. Where is it? Dudes, I've got my sword, man. I've got my sword, man. And I've, I just need a map. <laughs> it's not complicated. But it is when it's uh, when it's me, you know? Gotta always make things complicated. Oh, I want to get that coal. I want that coal. Um. Oh, there, oh yeah, it is there. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's let's block this in so that way we don't get any surprises. I hate surprises. They're so scary. They freak me out. Freak me out. All right. And then this is the... Oh, there's the tunnel right there. And then this... Uh, this is the tunnel. Yeah, I don't know if the water's going to work here. And then this has got to be closed in then. If they're going to be in here and they're going to spawn into that tunnel. Hmm. We can try. Let's open this up. All right. So I get rid of this stuff here. We'll chisel out the room. We'll finish it off with some cobble for now. We can add details later. Remember, Minecraft is all about textures. It's about changing things up and adding textures to things to make things look different and fun. And that is what you need to do in this game to make things look cool. But you all know that. You all know that. All right, so we can do maybe a row of that there. So let's get our let's do a crafting table, and let's see if we can get. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
What do we got? We want um, we want a furnace. No, don't do that. Don't do that to the don't do that to the people watching. They're not gonna like that. But they might like it. No, they won't. They won't, Arnie. They're not gonna like it. You know, I found out the other day in Minecraft. I didn't know this, and this is another place you people can help me out. I found out that you can put tree saplings in the furnace to burn stuff. And then I'm looking at the 3,000 chests I have full of saplings. And I'm going, that is what I need to do. Okay, crafting table. I need to go find water. That's a, that's a big one. But yeah, so this, uh, oh, would you look at that? I still need to find more water. There's buckets in there. That's even funnier. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. So we're going to put, we can put water there. And then I think we'll go water goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, so maybe we have to put water. We might have to put it. Well, if we add a, another layer here, we, we can add a layer here. And then that'll flow. We'll have water flow from up here. And then it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right to there. Um, and then maybe if we put, yeah, we'll have to do something like that. So we'll have a water source there. And then it'll, it should flow one, two. Well, we can figure it out. But let's um, see if we can find, wasn't there, some, wasn't there water somewhere in these caves? Didn't y'all see water somewhere? I thought I saw water flowing over down on top of lava. And it looks super scary. And I think we might have to not do that. So I, there's some water. Hey, water. Just need a little water from you, water. Just a little tiny bucket of water, water, sir. Sir, just want to get some water. Oh, yeah. Now I got two buckets, and that looks crazy. And this is how you die. Okay. Uh, you know you, should, you can. You know what else you can throw in the comments if you're a Minecraft person? Put down there, like the worst way you died in Minecraft. I want to hear, I want to see, when I when I load, I'll upload this and come back into the chat, I want to read some of the worst ways you've died in Minecraft. Mine? <laughs> Mine, you ask? So, I, actually, I think it's, uh, you can see the video. It's uh, Mama Dynamite and I. And uh, she's playing in my old world. Her and I are playing, and she's building a secret project for me. And she's working on that project, but I was in the nether. Didn't know anything about... Uh, sleeping in the nether, but I brought a bed with me. I brought a bed because of my wife, and I said, "Honey, I want you to know, I'm bringing this bed with me because if 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 you're, I'm in the nether. It doesn't, the sun doesn't set here. So if you get scared, and you want me, <laughs> if you want me to go to bed so that you can have sunrise, I love you so much that I will do that." And she's like, "Okay, well the sun is setting, big boy." So I need you to really, did you see that? It used, it used both my buckets of water at the same time? What? That is uncalled for. Oh my pressure. But yeah, so uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, no problem, hon. I'm gonna fall asleep in the nether. Take a quick nap so you can have your daylight. Here we go. And then I blew up. There we go. Water source. Water source. H2O. Who doesn't want H2O, honey? Everybody wants H2O. Who wouldn't want it? Everybody wants it. Alright, where's my little water thing that I'm building. There it is. Don't you dare. All right. 
Yeah, keep refilling. Unlimited water source. Iron, iron, get that out of there. Oh, hey, hey, man. Hey. Whoa. So, why are you in here? Are you... Did a torch fall off that side? It did. A torch fell off the side. The dangers of working... With spawners. Okay. Let's get rid of this thing, too, because you never know when you want 15 furnaces. And then this, uh, we can block this up. And let's block this up. And that made no sense. And let's block this up. Oh, yeah. Crafting table, you know what? Um, you're useless. And then we will... Go like this. Let's try this. One there. One there. And one there. And I think. Oh, yeah. Making me do it. Oh, yeah. So I think this will work. I think they'll all go to the end. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to put it there. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Yeah, something like that, right? And they're going to spawn. Even if they spawn up there, they're going to walk into it, right? They're going to walk into it. Of course they are. And then will they... Let's see. Do I have to put stuff here? Like this? And maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe we put some slabs on there because we know that spawns don't like slabs. Uh, let's put a couple of cobblestone slabs. I really like my cobblestone slabs. Yeah, now we're doing this. Hey, you know what? Do we like uh, it up this high or we could just do it lower with... That should work. So if I go over here, if I'm bouncing like this, you're gonna probably get stuck there, aren't you? Um, let's see. Maybe. Maybe we're supposed to do this. And that starts to flow that way, and that starts to flow that way. And the flow is moving. The flow is moving. Okay, I think we're uh, I think we're making headway, but that is getting close to closing time. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. It's Let's Play Minecraft with Jackson Dynamite. I am Jackson Dynamite. Uh, as always, if my kids are watching the program, it is time for you to go to bed. I am very serious this time because I'm looking at the clock and seeing what time it is. It's time for you to go to bed. If my wife is watching, I love you. Can't deny it. It's there. Love you. And if you're watching, do what you do. Follow me. Subscribe. Whatever you do.